brother says, is it permissible to wear clothes with branded logos that have animal images? And what if the clothes have a cross on them? First of all, images of imitating the creation of Allah. Images of a man with a face, eyes, nose. Images of an animal. Images of a cartoon character. Mickey Mouse, Superman, whatever. All of these are prohibited. And these prevent angels from entering your house. We're clear. What about images that do not have a face? Like a silhouette, for example. Like um, uh, uh, some logos of Puma that does not have a face, does not have an eyes, just a drawing. Like the emojis, or the smileys, not the emojis, the smileys. They don't have a li life in them. It is nothing. Scholars say that these are permissible. So you have Pumas, there's no problem. You have Lacoste, well, I have a problem. I just got a couple or three t-shirts, gifts for Eid from my siblings. But they had a Lacoste, which you can see the eyes, you can see the mouth and the nose of the crocodile or of the alligator. So this is not permissible. Then what to do? Simply put a, a, a button on the head, uh, scratch it out, put some finger uh, na nail polish, uh, suitable color so that it wouldn't look weird. And that's it. End of story. No problem. But if the crocodile itself is 3D, it's a statue rather than a logo. A logo is 2D. So it's a drawing. There's no problem in that. But when it is a statue, it is something that has dimensions 3D, then this becomes totally prohibited. You have to cut the head off. And this cascades down to all statues. You have Kiplings. I've seen a lot of the girls in my family. They love Kiplings, which has a monkey. And the monkey is more important than the bag itself to them. But the monkey is a statue. This definitely prevents the angels from accompanying you and protecting you. And when you tell them, remove it, they refuse. This is haram. This is a statue. You, have, you cannot have this. Unless it's for a child of five or six years of age to play with this doll, then this is okay. But when she's a woman of 30 or 40 years of age, this is weird. So this is when it comes to logos, branded logos that has drawings in them. What about if it has a cross? Some people are too sensitive when it comes to cross. So the cross that people acknowledge as a cross is prohibited. And we all know that this is a symbol that the Christians glorify because they believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was crucified on a cross. So anyone, when you say the word cross, the first thing that comes to your mind is something that is vertical and horizontal where the vertical side is, the tip of it, is shorter than the lower part. This is a cross. This is where people are crucified on, usually. But not everything that is a cross considered to be a cross that we have to dismantle and to destroy. It is part of our sunnah. Our Prophet, the Prophet, والسلام, whenever he saw something that was in the form of a cross, he used to dismantle it, to destroy it, to cover it. So whether it's a piece of wood, whether as long as it is part of being a cross. But some people are so extreme, so sensitive, they don't go to study math. Why? Because there's cross and multiplica multiplication, so what? So no, this is cross, we have to, uh, division, okay, maybe. But this is not related to Islam. So great scholars of Islam say that not everything that you see around you is a cross. Sheikh Ibn Aythameen, for example, says that there was a long time ago a Swiss watch. And we know that Switzerland has their logo as a cross, like in the Red Cross, which are all equal. And such a cross does not relate to the cross we were just talking about. So he said that we asked the manufacturers of the clock whether this Abu Salib, it used to, call, to be called, is this a real cross? I said, no, this is not related to a cross. Like Mont Blanc, for example. They have this star which some people call David Star, and it is not. It is referring to the tip of a mountain covered with snow, and it has nothing to do with David Star. So some people come and say, oh, this is haram to wear. You should not wear this sheikh. This is uh, resembling the Jews and loving. This has nothing to do with it. So again, coming back to the uh, uh, story, if you have a cross that signifies, that indicates that this country is a Christian country, they're honoring their cross and they're putting it in their flag, you have to remove this because this is a cross. But if it's something like the Red Cross, like some of them, them uh, um, 
uh, knives and, and, and stuff that has this red cross uh, on it. This seems okay, inshallah. If you remove it, but don't be too sensitive over such issues.